Hello everybody, this is XLKLOX here and today I've got a new money making guide and how to kill monster guide. So today we are going to be looking at the, the newish monster Celestial Dragons. In this guide I will tell you the requirements of what you need to kill them, what I recommend you have, uh, what gear I recommend to have and how you to get there and just show an example kill and talk to you about the ability abilities that they have. So let's get right into this. Okay, so the requirements for killing uh, the Slush Dragons are the completion of the One of the Kind quest, so you can get to Dragon Tooth Island. And once you're there, you'll also need 67 Dungeoneering to enter the resource dungeon which these dragons are in. Okay, so next I'll tell you some recommended stats which I think you need, should have or you know should be near enough about to kill these dragons. Okay, so there are a few things which I recommend you have when killing the Celestial Dragons. The first is going to be 8 plus range. The reason for this is because they are weak to arrows. So I would recommend using a bow if possible. But if this is not possible because you need an anti-dragon shield, which is uh, then use um, bolts, I'm sure they're just as fine. Uh, okay, so I recommend 8 to defense as well. Just because these dragons can hit Excuse me, relatively good if you are meleeing them. But personally, I recommend ranging because it's just a lot simpler. In fact, I do recommend super anti fires or normal anti fires if you've got an anti fire shield, as these do dra dragons do attack the same way as steel and iron dragons do by throwing fireballs at you. I'll show more about the moves and think later on. Okay, so let's have a look at the equipment. Okay, so the equipment which I recommend for this is, as I've already said, range equipment. So if you can't, so as you can see, I'm wearing Death Lotus. Phoenix gloves and boots, a six age circuit, and the Dragon Rider amulet, and a uh, accumulator, all the best you've got of, of that. Um, you can also wear, you know, stuff say how cows, for example, if you can't afford that or can't wear Death Lotus. You can also, you know, Royal if you can't afford that either for a weapon. I do recommend using a belt if you if you don't if you do have access to super antifires. If you don't, um, say so you can you you can use a single-handed crossbow which will do the best or melee it uh, personally i would if i had this option i'd put you over melee because you can do a decent amount of damage but it's a tiny your preference and so the inventory we need just to teleport and um, i have missed it out but you do also just for quick access you can have an ecto file in your inventory if you've done the quest for that just to teleport there uh, for me i've got super anti-fires but if not you place these with normal anti-fires and then uh, your Beast of Burden, if you wish to take this, you don't have to. It's just an easier so you can kill more per trip. And then we also have a bit of food at the bottom. As you don't really take much damage to these if you're standing, you're not using melee. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of a kill now and explain the abilities in a sec. Okay, everybody, just before we set off two to Slash and I'm just going to show you quickly my ability bar. Uh, so first off, we have Piercing Shot, just the basic damage in, and Ricochet, so I can hit more than once. Me, dazzling shot to sort of, to uh, another dark down to uh, to freeze them in place, which it's just one enough to do damage because they are immune to nothing. Fire shot just do some damage every time. That one, if you just so you can basically just guaranteed hit. And we have the snapshot for two or ones, which is quite useful. Bombardment so you can hit multiple ones at once if they're close proximity to each other, or just deal a lot of damage in general. Then you have a fire, which is I uh, use this every single time you possibly can, and then for me the ultimate ability is dead shot, which obviously can do a lot of damage to them. The only problem is when they use their ability, which I will probably hope, probably demonstrate during the fight, they will cancel out your special, so you've got to be careful with that. Okay, so to get there, I recommend teleporting to the Canifus Lodestone and running east, or using the X file, which is what I'm going to do, which will draw you off right next to Port, Port Van, Van, whatever it is. <laughs> Port Phantom, I'll call it. Oh, if you also if you haven't done the quest which requires you to speak to which which lets you speak to ghosts without a ghost speak, I'm you're gonna have to do that. But off the top of me, I can't remember what quest it is. I've, so I'm really sorry about that. Just if you haven't got if you haven't done that quest, then just get basically get a um a ghost speak necklace, and that's basically just an extra thing to have in your inventory. So just run down here, and then we speak to the ghost captain, who will take you to the island. And here we are, then we just from the south, and the resource dungeon is just there. This is also a divination spot, if you didn't know. And there it is, so you just enter the mysterious entrance, and there we go. 
Now, don't do a famous shot either you're doing if you forget, because these things do, do hit hard with their fire. So, just drink an antifire, run in, and start attacking. You can see it's quite a quite a simple fight, really. You can see they throw the, uh, the fireballs, like the Iron and Steel Dragons do. Keep using your abilities. Like, when, like, you should get a message down here when it, like, throws its heads up. Uh, then you would then you'll get f f stunned for a couple of seconds there it is when you see that you you'll get trapped in time and you're unable to do anything for a few seconds so if you long food and it does that then, it, then yeah you're kind of dead so just keep it on your hp if that is the case okay so that is basically it these drop all sorts of note of noted stuff like dragon hides uh charm they drop a hell of a load of charms as well and obviously they drop the dragon bones as well. So if you were doing these for money, um, I personally do, do do these sometimes for money and charms as well, occasionally. And I make a decent amount of money. I probably make around two to, two to three mil an hour doing these, which isn't that bad. But And you get a lot of... I'd, last time I came here from a 136 Slayer task, I got 70 charms, crimson charms, and about 20 blue. So they're very good for charms as well. Okay, everybody, so that is it for this Celestial Dragons Guide. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to punch the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Also, make sure to follow my Twitter feed, which is going to be linked down below. So, left to say, thank you for watching. I've been XDOCKILLERX, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!